close enough. There you go. Greetings, Earthlings. Uh, we're going to talk today about removing a bearing from a pillow block bearing assembly. So here's a couple different styles of pillow block bearings, uh, and there are more styles than this. This is what's called a surface mount pillow block, where the the pillow block housing mounts to the surface of something like this and the shaft comes out at a 90 degree angle. Here's an inline pillow block mount where it mounts like this and you have your shaft going through this way. Some of these things are two bolt housing, some are three bolt, this is a four bolt, um, lots of different styles. But the general fact of the construction of these things is you've got a cast iron outer housing and you've got a ball bearing insert that goes in it. Now a lot of people think that that bearing is part of this thing, but it's not. It's replaceable. And other people think that it is pressed in here somehow with a gigantic press. No, it is actually inserted by hand. And you can replace it yourself. The way these things are put together, you will find on one side or the other, you will find relief slots. Here they are in this one, here they are on this one. The relief slots allow this the the bearing to be actually turned sideways within the housing. The outside surface of this outside race, that is the outer steel race of the bearing, is slightly spherical. It's shaped slightly like a ball and it matches a spherical uh, machining on the inside of the cast iron so it can be rotated into place within the housing. Now since these are new bearing assemblies these are very tight and uh, you know they don't want to move easily but I can take a rubber hammer here and knock it a little bit and get it to move. Um, and in fact, if uh, you know, one of the beauties of this spherical bearing style is that even if you're not mounted completely flush to a surface, that is if the shaft isn't perfectly perpendicular to the surface you're mounted on, it'll still carry the thing fine because that is the, the bearing can flex slightly within the housing to line up with where the shaft needs to be. So, at any rate, I'm going to knock on this. Now, you want to kind of look at the bearing beforehand because some of these bearings have an extended collar on one side, as these both do. Uh, there's little set screws in here to hold the shaft. Some bearings have that extended collar, some don't. But if you do have an extended collar, you want to make sure when you, when you put the new bearing insert in here, you orient that collar the right way. You don't want this, want this on the back side. So, when I look at this, I see that it's on the outside. Okay, that's great. I'm going to take this thing and just start knocking it here and look, it starts to swivel inside. So we're getting somewhere. You can also set these things on like a vise, just open a vise up like this so you have some place to hit down into so that bearing can swing sideways and go below the surface of, of whatever you're hitting against. And there it is. Boing, there's your bearing insert. So those are available separately from the outer housing. You can of course buy them as an assembly, but depending on what bearing it is and you know how esoteric the thing is, sometimes getting the insert is a lot cheaper than having to buy the whole housing. Now we're going to drop this back in here. Now when you go to rotate this back uh, into place, it just has to be completely kind of 90 degrees to that slot because if you get it a little crooked off to one side, you'll notice this, this extended collar will hang up on the cast iron housing and just not let you rotate it. So we're gonna try to knock this in the way it needs to be. I can almost do it by hand, look at that. Loosened up that much. Yep, look at there. Now you have to be real careful if you're tapping there because if I slip off that and, and hit on that rubber oil seal, I'm going to damage it. So I want to keep the punch right on that outside uh, ring of metal. Like I'm not even going to hit that. I'm going to just hit the center. So that's basically it. We're lined back up, ready to go back into service. Thanks for watching.